Hi guys, welcome to our section, how to use the quadratic formula. So, this is the quadratic formula. We're going to use this formula to figure out the values of x when you have a quadratic equation. So, let's go ahead and do an example. So, let's say that you need to solve for the values of x in this quadratic equation. Remember, I know this is quadratic because I have an x squared. So, you will have two answers. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my formula. But first, I need to identify who is a, b, and c. a will always be the value next to the x squared. b will always be the value next to the x. And c is going to be the value that basically has no x. So, let's go ahead and solve it. Remember, I had a equals 1, b equals 4, c equals negative 21. I just plug it here, negative b plus and minus, and then b squared, in this case b, which is 4 squared, minus 4 times a times negative 21. Let's do first what we have inside the, what we call the discriminant. By the way, this guy is called the discriminant, and he will tell you how many answers you're going to have. If you're going to have two rational answers, imaginary, or basically just, um, just one answer. We'll have another video just to talk about the discriminant. But in this case, I just want to go ahead and solve this. So I'm going to do 4 times 4 is 16. Then I'm going to have negative 4 times 1 times negative 21. Well, remember, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 21 is positive 84. So now I'm going to have negative 4 minus positive or positive times negative, the square root of 16 plus 84. Well, 16 plus 84 is going to be to 100. And now I'm going to have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 100, but 100 is equals to 10. So I have my first answer, which is negative 4 plus 10 divided by 2, or negative 4 minus 10 divided by 2. And that's it. I'm going to have uh, negative 4 plus 10 is going to be 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative 4 minus 10 is negative 14 divided by 2, which is negative 7. And that's it. How easy is that? Let's go ahead and do another example. See, a is going to be negative 2, b is 1, and c is equals to 5. Let's go ahead and plug it. Now, here I put negative 1 plus and minus the square root of b squared. Well, 1 times 1 is just 1. Minus 4 times a. Remember, a is negative 2 and c is 5. So, let's solve what is inside the discriminant. I'm going to do negative 4 times negative 2 is equals to 8. 8 times 5 is equals to 40. Then on the bottom, I have 2 times negative 2. Well, remember, 1 plus 40 is going to give me 41. And then the 2 times negative 2 is going to give me negative 4. Now, you could simplify this since you have a negative on the bottom. Multiply a, the whole expression by negative. And, um, you know, if you were taking a test, this would be, this would look like something like this. I cannot simplify anymore because I just have a 1 and a square root of 41. But you could actually just, you know, multiply every single thing by negative. Or you can just plug it into the calculator and get these values. You just do negative 1 plus the square root of 41, and then put enter, then divide it by negative 4, and then the same thing, but you're going to do negative 1 minus the square root of 41 divided by negative 4. And you should get these answers. Thank you so much for doing an amazing job. Please don't forget to watch our other videos, and also, thanks so much for learning.